Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Thanks everyone for tuning into your tarot reading. We'll be looking at your overall energy at this present time and see what else is coming up around you as well. So it is intended for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or to the cross watchers that are dealing with the Pisces, this reading can be helpful for you as well. Um, don't forget to drop a like if you enjoy this content and want to see more. Um, and also just subscribe to join my little big YouTube family um, and join the channel and get updates for readings for your sign, for um, the element of water as well. So we'll see what comes up. Um, for private readings, please feel free to reach out directly um, and we can go ahead and try to arrange that for you. Otherwise, let's see what your overall energy is, Pisces. Okay, overall energy, the page of swords. Okay, I'm getting an overwhelming sense that there's confusion about a situation or there's major regret. Okay, I see you looking back on a situation, maybe around an air sign, or you're thinking a lot about this person. It's like a constant carousel of thoughts. Um, okay, straight away I'm getting that you were maybe immature about a situation or you acted too quickly almost like you didn't know what you were doing at the time and I feel like you're living through some consequences now and you're not too happy with it you're not exactly where you want to be right now um, but I feel like somewhere deep down you keep reflecting on this person from your past could be the recent or the distant past with the page of swords um, or I feel like you keep bringing up something from the past here and that's because you haven't dealt with it, Pisces. Mentally, you haven't dealt with it. That's why it keeps coming back up. Could also be someone who's bringing up the past here as well. And as a result, they keep dragging you. And it's like, you guys can't move forward. Um, I feel like there's a lot you want to say. And it's about different things. I'm getting that there's a lot of conversations you're having in your mind about a specific situation. Um, and it's all just like floating around, but it's the same thoughts, the same kind of thoughts, and they keep happening on a daily basis here. You're not really sure what to do with it. Um, okay, so you're uncertain about it, but you, it's almost like you can't move forward until you've dealt with this. It's, I feel like... I feel like it's a problem, okay? It's a problem you want to work on. Um, I also get for some of you that your anxiety made you do or say some things. And it could be like spiteful things. I often associate that page of swords. It's like this figure of regret. He's looking back. He keeps thinking back. He can't move forward. Um, yeah, I keep I keep getting like it's a sense of regret or remorse. Let's see what's what else is going on here with you, Pisces. What's going on with you, little fishies? What have you done? <laughs> okay, you've come up as the page of cups. You've come up in your sign. So straight away makes me think you have the power to change things if you really want to. Um, that power is going to be with you. <sighs> All right. Um, okay, some of you need to have a conversation. I get that someone thinks it's your fault something happened. And I want to say that anxiety potentially pushed you to the limits here in a situation. You got carried away way too carried away and Pisa and, uh, Pisa, uh, Pisces and Cancer together make Pisa. Uh, Cancer and Pisces energy together here, they're both can be spiteful signs and I keep getting that you've said something and it crossed the line and it was quite spiteful and it hurt someone. I think a conversation is needed. Um, I don't think you can just avoid and skim over it. I think someone is waiting for an apology from you or they're waiting for you to correct things. Um, 
Some of you are still expecting them to follow after you, Pisces. It's like you did them dirty in a way, but you're like, no, nah, they'll come back. If they really love me, they'll come back. They'll forgive me if they really love me or they really care. You know, I don't know if that's the right approach here, okay? I, I feel like a conversation needs to happen, but be careful not to get ego. I'm not seeing much ego, though. It's more anxiety, three cards, the page, the knight, and the queen. I'm getting that you have some unrealistic expectation, like someone's still going to come through, even though you possibly did something to really hurt them. Might have been something you said, something you did. There's, I'm seeing pain here. Pain, and it's like eating you up inside, especially on a subconscious level. Um, this person is still around and they still love you. Okay, they're still coming up next to you here. So I'm seeing that they would forgive you and they would be willing to talk. Um, I feel like with the chariot, someone needs to forgive the other in order to move things forward. I get the past here. The chariot, cancer energy can also be things that we were once attached to. Cancer as a sign misses things, longs for things. Um, all those sorts of things, okay? I, I, yeah, okay. I, I feel like mm, something about a past person could be an ex. An ex still feels hurt, or suddenly you have you're reminiscing about someone that you've hurt before. Maybe in the recent or the distant past. You didn't have these feelings before. They're being unlocked from your subconscious. Um, and your inner being. Your higher self is bringing these memories. Is flooding all of this back to you. I um, feel like it's all, it's all coming back up. You, um, Pisces with this energy. I feel like you're missing someone. But you know you hurt them. And you know the only way to move forward is if you apologize. But again, you have some unrealistic fantasies. It could be that this person is already taken, they're married, they're moved on, and maybe some of you will interfere with that process. Something also about like the grieving process is coming up. You're moving on to a different stage in the, in the grieving process, especially if you're sort of still healing from a situation or a heartbreak or a separation. Some of you still have hope that this can be rekindled, and there certainly is hope for some of you out there. For others, I feel like it's a chapter that you have to close and you need to deal with mentally. Obviously, each situation is going to be very different. Um, for some of you, these exes maybe have moved on, or you know they, they just don't want anything to do with you right now. But feelings and thoughts change. Just because that's how they're feeling at this present moment, it doesn't indicate they're going to feel this way for the next week, for the next month, for the next year. So... I mean, this also applies to you, though. You may be in that Page of Swords energy, and then you feel like you want to reach out, make amends, or whatever, and then a week later, you don't feel it as strongly. So I get that you have to sit with the emotions and sort of ride the wave, and there's there's that wave here. That's the emotions that you're feeling. Um, but I, I get like you're still attaching this. You expect something from them. You're expecting them to turn around and maybe apologize for you. They're still there, though. I feel like they're still thinking about you. They're still attached. Um, if this is not someone from your past, um, I get that some of you are letting past trauma into your current relationship. Be careful. You're unleashing like a can of worms on a new connection. This person has nothing to do with what you've previously been through. And they're probably sitting there going, what is going on? They're curious. Queen of Swords is curiosity. So they're curious as to why you're acting the way you are. But they don't know the backstory. That's going to be up to you in that Page of Swords energy. And that queen, if you feel like sharing it, they'll listen. They'll be there. They'll rush to help you. They'll rush to give you advice. Okay, I feel like emotionally they want to be, they want to make you feel secure and support, supported. But I get right now you're not feeling that from them. There's something that not they're not giving you in terms of emotional support or emotional security. But you'd be surprised you, you you know, you could really be surprised by their response. Um, you know, you could really be shocked by their response here as to how much they want to step up, move forward, help you move through this trauma, whatever it is that Page of Swords keeps bringing you back to. But communication is going to go a long way. 
and I feel like they'll have they'll also have something positive to say. There's like a positive reinforcement that's coming through for them here. But you have to push these things out of the way in order to move you guys forward because if you don't it's just going to keep coming back and it may haunt the relationship and you don't want skeletons in the closet from something else to interfere in what you've got here because it could potentially be make or break at the end of the day it's going to depend if you feel comfortable enough to open up completely but it's there and you're feeding off it and they're feeding off this energy as well okay so if you're wondering why it's still happening it's because you keep getting pushed back into that energy with that page of swords. So it's like the universe is nudging you here to take some sort of action. So something maybe for you to think over here, um, Pisces. But I'll wrap it up there. Thank you again, everyone, for watching. It does mean a lot. Don't forget to drop a like and also hit the subscribe and the bell button on my YouTube page. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very, very soon. So lots of love and angel blessings, Pisces. And until next time, bye for now.